What's up guys, Maxim here, welcome back to another video, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If you haven't done it already, you know what to do, click that like button and subscribe button and all that good stuff before the start of this video. We're trying to reach 10k subscribers before the end of the year and it would be enormous to have you as a part of the perfect squad. With that being said, the new update for the game is finally here. As you guys, if you watched it, like my previous videos, I reached it late game and the game is pretty, pretty much dry once you reach 57 uh, like uh, level 57 sorry uh, there isn't much to do you have to like uh, just like do the dailies maybe some of the uh, agency assessment and then you're probably much uh, done just like farm uh, the rest of like uh, the chips and everything but hopefully this uh, new co-op or this new kind of uh, game mode is going to be changing the game drastically hopefully uh, we have to wait and see but uh, let me know if you guys want me to make a whole video about this uh, game mode showing how you can actually do it the easiest way possible yeah with that being said let's uh jump into the today's news as they call it uh the maintenance has changes so they're going to be adding a new co-op game mode which is like the 9v9 which is very very interesting i'm going to be uh like reading through it for you guys and maybe like explain it little bit by little bit uh they're going to be uh like with this new mode the its whole purpose is going to be uh like farming this new sort of um overclocking materials for the chips so uh you're not going to be overclocking uh, the uh, the chip itself but you're going to be overclocking the slot similar to the gear so keep that in mind so you're not going to be wasting your resources so uh, go ham with it just like um, overclock the slot uh, because even if you find a better uh, chip in the future you're going to be having the same overclocking which is very very nice uh, because I heard that it's going to be uh, a good or a decent amount of BP boosted uh, by overclocking chips so keep that in mind uh, they're going to be setting up the existing new in-game event for upcoming holidays so this is a great uh, sort of like start that they're uh, giving up or giving us uh, some sort of like perspective of which uh, things that are going to be coming hopefully they're going to be adding much more pve content into the game because as i mentioned earlier and a lot of my videos there uh, is just dry hopefully they're not going to be adding one of those um, in-game events where you're just like move moving your mouse around uh, because we want to see sort of uh, like pve content where you're going to be using different characters um, it, it's going to be much much better uh, they're going to be preparing for the arrival of, uh, of the next character please keep your eyes peeled for the announcement later so if you guys like mentioned or seen this sort of easter egg that they uh, added eyes peeled which is like means that um, who's uh, the person that uses the quirk where he cancels uh, like other quirks with his eyes I, I think it's Aizawa it's really really obvious that Aizawa is going to be coming next uh so um i don't know if you guys like should summon for him uh, unless like you enjoy the character and so on i didn't use him uh, that much like expect for arena so if you're going to be playing arena a lot i do recommend you guys like summon for him but he's he's kind of decent but he's a single target kind of character in my opinion and he's not that decent in pve as uh, sort of content he's more like the uh pvp kind of scenario character so maybe for the co-op battles and also uh for the arena so if you guys are missing out on that probably uh, just like summon for him but if you're not playing uh, playing arena or the co-op uh, maybe just skip him and uh, wait for the next big character uh, of course they're going to be fixing uh, bugs and made uh, quality for life improvements and made additional fixes for uh, to tax issues as well okay uh, uh, basically the new kind of co-op battle is going to be called team up and if you actually see this you have like a, a certain number of uh, trials i think uh, because it actually resets every day so keep that in mind uh you have like three uh sort of um uh, how can i say like tryouts so i uh, keep that in mind and uh, a week you can actually do it 12 times a week so you have to like to do it on a weekly basis as well uh basically you're going to be teaming up with nine players and uh protect the key areas by f uh, like fending off the enemies together uh so you're going to be fighting enemies as they go i think and you're going to be fighting a certain objective or protecting uh, sort of objectives i think like in this uh, sort of uh, scenario is going to be uh 13 i think as a character uh the captain 
can uh, lead the battle by using the switch function to swap the position of the players tap the avatars of two teams members to switch their position tab uh, the blank area to uh, exit editing uh, so basically there it's going to be uh, different monsters in different areas you're not going to be nine characters all together uh, you're going to be uh, or the um, captain leader is going to be sending off uh, like different teams i think like a teams of three uh, to different uh, bosses or different like monsters to fight off and once you finish that boss i think they go to the next one uh, and the captain is going to be responsible uh, to uh, sort of uh, deploying uh, that team to different positioning uh, so that's uh, something to keep in mind when all players are ready the captain can uh, tab attack to enter the battle uh, this station is extremely important to the flow of the honey city we have to stop the villains okay this is how you enter or once you have like uh, uh, nine players ready in your team uh, you just like press attack and uh, you're just going to be going uh, like one by one uh, like defeating enemy bosses and uh completing like, different missions that they're going to be giving uh to you uh you're just like going to be obtaining completion rewards uh, if you guys see here you're going to be seeing uh participation attempts as well so 13 will lose a large amount of hp when enemies attack her you need to defeat all enemies bosses uh before 13 loses all hp as i mentioned like earlier you're going to be defending like a certain objective uh so in this uh, scenario it's going to be 13 uh with a number of hp and each monster is going Going to be attacking her so you have to like to defeat uh, the monster before 13 actually dies off and as i mentioned each boss uh, is going to be in a certain area and uh, the captain is going to be uh, kind of switching each team uh, from one place to another uh, this panel displays the next enemy uh, tap to enter battle map for more information so you're going to be fighting a certain uh, like monster uh, uh, the moment that you finish uh, the kind of stage or the monster that you were fighting so that's something to keep in mind again this is like substantial Potential or, or like um, it's not in depth explanation I'm just like uh, uh i'm not sure about it so i'm going to be uh, going uh, through it in in full details once uh, i do it like uh, a couple of times uh, the captain can tap the enemy avatar to assign missions to each player uh, so you can just like click it and assign uh, sort of uh, which uh, team goes to which monster it looks like very very interesting on paper and i can't wait to actually see it in practice because this is very very, very nice for the game uh, because pve content is something that we are missing uh, right now and hopefully it doesn't consume any uh, like stamina it doesn't seem like, uh, like it it's uh, similar to the agency assessment i think uh, you just like have uh, like uh, chances uh, like a number of chances per day and uh, per week is actually 12 and actually resets like every saturday at five so that's something to keep in mind so make sure you actually do it three times in order to catch up on that um, huge pp bump uh, i kind of like it's a kind of a bummer uh, not to see them like implementing one of those uh, big uh, like uh, villains that we see all the time uh, we're basically like seeing unknown villains all the time hopefully they're going to be implementing like shigaraki maybe but maybe they don't want to tease uh, sort of like uh, villains that we know about I'm, I'm really really curious on how they're going to be uh, implementing that of course like this is uh, the shop and the um, the materials that you're going to be getting from this mode and uh, if you get or collect uh, a number of these uh, sort of like currency you if you go to the shop you can actually spend that currency in order to get these overclocking materials and of course you're going to be getting like b factors t factors and also like the uh, s factors for those talents so it's actually really really nice it's not that expensive but uh, it looks like this one is the best one and uh, it consumes like 1000 of those and each each one like uh, hopefully it doesn't give you only one hopefully it doesn't give you only one otherwise it's gonna take you so long and of course you can actually pick which channels you want to go to in order to like to fight or enter uh, sort of like this space where you're going to be um with other players just like teaming up which is like very very nice concept hopefully they're going to be executing it uh, probably uh, like in a in a best way force like these are real players so it's actually really really nice to see that they um they actually done that this is um a new hybrid 
Oh, okay, he disappeared. <laughs> I swear to God, this is like worse deco, and now it turned into <laughs> to Doroki. But uh, yeah, in concept, it looks very, very nice, and uh, hopefully they carry on uh, bringing uh, stuff like that in the future. With that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As usual, are you guys excited to try out this uh, sort of um, mechanics? Of course, like we have a Discord server uh, in the description. If you guys like want to team up with other players, you can actually join and help each other out in the My Hero academia channel so make sure you do that if you haven't already a like on this video would be very very appreciated and it helps the channel a lot of course subscribe if you haven't already for future my hero academia um uh, the strongest hero uh, content thank you so much for watching and i'll be catching you guys in the next one Bye bye